2 Corinthians chapter 4. And once you get your place, if you'd say amen, please. Amen. 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 2 Corinthians right chapter 4. It. Amen. amen. We're right amen. to it. Amen. <laughs> now, we find that Paul writes his second epistle to the Corinthians. He's writing this from Macedonia, and it's around 57 AD. Yeah. And he's defending his ministry. And he closes out the epistle with a Trinitarian passage because he's very adamant on preaching the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Yeah. The three of the Godhead, which is important in the church, yeah. works in you and I as Christians. Amen. Amen. Jesus Christ died for our sins. Amen. God is our Father, and the Holy Ghost works in each and every one of us. Amen. 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 Now, this message, Pastor, tonight might be titled From the Pulpit to the Pew. Each one of us has a ministry. Paul writes, our right. ministry. Plural, Amen. our, our ministry. You know, Paul That's wasn't good. lifting himself up for accolades. He didn't want to be lifted up. He wanted to lift up the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. As a matter of fact, the Bible says, that's the only name under heaven which man can be saved. Amen. 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 Listen to how he starts out chapter 4, 2 Corinthians. Are you there? Amen. Amen. Therefore, seeing we have this ministry as we have received mercy, we watch church faint not. Faint not. Faint not. Mercy, <clears throat> favor, and compassion. Right. Favor and compassion is what you and I received. Come on. We deserve hell try, because try. of what we were. But God saw beyond our faults and He saw our needs, brother. Amen. Amen. Come on, brother. And He gave us mercy. Thank you, Lord. Compassion. Thank God for that. Amen. None of us could do anything that would ever merit the love and compassion that God gave us. Amen. Only that Jesus Christ died on an old rugged cross yeah, come on, and bro. shed his blood for your sins and you here tonight and on the solid rock. Amen. In which the builders rejected. Amen. Our ministry. Yeah. The pastor and I preach the gospel. Our elders, our deacons, they have a place in the church. Each and every person here that has a title, and also you and the views have a ministry. Amen. Each and every person. It yeah. isn't just one person that runs the church. It's everybody that comes under God's house that does something for God. Amen. Amen. Oh. Every one of yeah, us. Preaching. It's important. Listen, if we're up here preaching to empty pews, it's not going to do anyone no good. No. But the gospel will be shed abroad upon our hearts, and we're taking it out among the highways and hedges, compelling right. those that are lost and undone to come in. Right. And that's our job. It's your duty to listen to come the on. gospel. Listen, 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 listen. Yeah. Take the gospel, put it in your heart, and go out there and you tell somebody that's lost and undone about Jesus Christ. Amen. It's not that hard to fathom and comprehend. And Brother Paul goes to right here in verse 2. But have what? Renounced. Hidden. The hidden things of dishonesty. Not walking in what? Church craftiness. Nor handling the word of God deceitfully. Let me tell you something about Brother Paul, which you know very well historically. Brother Paul was a Pharisee. And at that time, the Pharisees and the Sadducees and the Mosaic law, they weren't preaching what was correct. They were wanting to be lifted of men. They were wanting to be seen of men. They were wanting to be lifted up. They were wanting to receive the accolades. Their judgment was being perverted. Thanks, him, Lord. And Brother Paul's very clear. He's saying, I preach Jesus Christ not of craftiness. Yeah. Not of wanting myself to be lifted. But rather that Jesus Christ be preached. Amen. Wow. His death, burial, and resurrection is very important. You and I are only here today because of Jesus Christ. Amen. Wow. Yeah. Nothing Amen. else. Right. And he's very clear to the Corinthians. He's saying, not handling the word of God deceitfully. But by manifestation, that means to materialize. Yeah. How do we materialize Jesus Christ? We Come preach on, the man. gospel. Right. And he's materialized through that word. In the yeah. beginning was the word. What was it, Brother Tim? The word was with God. And the word was God. Still is. You want to see things yeah. happen? You've got a sick loved one. Yeah. You are sick yourself. Come up and we'll anoint you, honey, with oil. And you see the power of God work in demonstration. Amen. Come on, brother. The Lord is a type of faith. Not that inanimate object. I don't believe in inanimate objects. I can't pray over this. 
and take it and lay it on you. That's not what Jesus said to do. Jesus said to come in power and demonstration and preach the gospel in its entirety and He'll do the work. It's not by inanimate objects. It's by the power of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Mm-hmm. I like it. Now listen to this. But by manifestation of what? The, the word truth. Pilate said, what is the truth? Uh-huh. He was looking right at it. Amen. Amen. Right. <laughs> Come on now, man. Amen. <laughs> he was looking at him. Yes. And he wanted to deliver Jesus. He wanted to let him go. Yeah. But no. They wanted to let Barabbas go. Yeah. Easter is very soon to be upon us. And we know the story very well. How yeah. Jesus was scourged and he was crucified. And it was meant to be the Old Testament foreshadowed his coming. That's right. The Old Testament told how he would die for Amen. your sins and mine. Amen. 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 A manifestation of the word in Jesus Christ. And he went away. But he said, I won't leave you comfortless. I'll send the Holy Ghost. Amen. That will lead you, guide you, and direct you. And if we listen to the word, and if we take the word, and we use it in our ministry, then we can see people unshackled and free. Amen. Amen. Listen to this. Commanding ourselves in every man's conscience, his faculties, in the sight of God. We do nothing hidden. That's right. We're not charlatans. We're not magicians. We're not up here to jump through hoops. We're not up here to beguile you or to trick you. We're here to tell you the truth. Amen. Amen. In the sight of God. Can we do anything that God's not watching? That's right. right. Everything you think you're doing in secret, God sees it. Amen. And when we are in the pulpit, and when we are in the Sunday school teaching, and when we are doing our job and duties in this church, God sees it and He knows our hearts. But your ministry is as important as the pulpit because you, 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 it can be used of God. Amen. If you just would. Come on, If you just would. Amen. But now Paul writes here, but if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them which are what, church? L O S T lost. The lost cannot discern and acknowledge the truth which is Jesus Christ crucified. Amen. It cannot fathom the love and the depth of that love. Preach it, brother. It will never know. The lost will never know Jesus, the author of the book. They will never know the magnitude of yeah. what happened on Calvary until they come to the believing right. side of Calvary. Amen. And brother, they have got to realize they're lost. That's right. How can you get someone saved unless they realize they're lost? Amen. Go ahead. Yeah. I'm saved because Grandpa is the pastor. I'm saved because my daddy is the deacon. I'm saved because Mama's saved. That ain't how it works, church. You've got to have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. You've got to know, know, know the author of the book and the author is Jesus Christ. It says here, but if the gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost and undone. And that is where you and I come in. That's where each and every one of you, if you'll listen to the gospel being preached, if you'll take it in, and you'll put it in your heart. And you'll go out there and you'll knock on a few doors. And you'll tell a couple of people about Jesus Christ. Amen. Then they can come to an old-fashioned church like we've got. Thank God for Northside Baptist Church. A church that will preach the gospel and preach the truth. Amen. We will not bend, bow, nor break. <laughs> we will Amen. not bow down to the devil. Amen. We will preach the gospel. I don't care what happens. Amen. You come in here Thank and you've you. got an attitude. And you're looking at the pulpit. And you've got it under a microscope. You better listen, honey, to what Jesus has to say. Right. Amen. You better listen to the gospel. Amen. You're in here and you're judging what's coming out of this book. Well, God's judging you. That's Amen. right. That's a book. Amen. Now, in verse 4, in whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the lie of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should walk. Amen. You don't have to do anything to be lost. That's right. You don't have to do nothing to go to hell. 
Hey, listen, you want to go to hell? You're on your way to hell when you come to the age of accountability. Amen. You don't have to do 